Welcome to STAB exam forum. We have come up with a new video on static GK and in this session we are going to cover important pointers related to ISRO. Okay. So I request all the students who are watching this online to take paper and pencil and note down these pointers. Okay. So let's begin the session. So student as you know ISRO stand for what Indian Space Research Organization okay and I know all of you know about this full form ISRO Indian Space Research Organization okay the next important pointer you should know that it comes under directorate of space okay it comes under directorate of space which is headed by our honorable prime minister okay so this isro comes under directorate of space which is headed by prime minister okay so ISRO is under directorate of space okay and the next important thing is that before uh, 1969 okay so ISRO was formed on 15th August 1969 okay but before that it is known as what one committee is there Indian Committee in COSPAR okay I will tell you the full form it is Indian Committee for Space Research okay let me write down for you Indian Committee for Space research okay space research research okay so this committee was formed at that time around 1962 okay later it was renamed as ISRO okay that uh, you can say ISRO was formed on 15th August 1969 okay coming to the chairman okay so the first chairman first chairman first chairman of isro is as you know is vikram sarabhai okay he is a very popular and reputed scientist space scientist basically vikram sarabhai okay and uh, he is also known as father father of Indian space program Indian space program okay the next important point uh, you should know its headquarter these are very simple one whatever I am telling you right now so in few uh, slides we will see the important things that uh, you should know okay so ISRO headquarter as you know it is in Bangalore okay it is in Bangalore Bangalore is in Karnataka okay Karnataka okay understood so uh, I request uh, to take screenshot of this okay and I know that all of you know uh, these pointers okay so let's move to the next important pointers as I told you first 1962 INSCO power was formed okay INCO's power was formed then in 1969 precisely 15th August ISRO was formed right then our Indian space uh, get boosted because of one major event that has happened in 1975 can you tell yes 
the launch of Aryabhatta satellite. Okay, the launch of Aryabhatta satellite. Okay, and as you know, it is launched with the help of one space agency of USSR. That space agency is called Intercosmos. Okay, Intercosmos. intercosmos of ussr with the help of ussr our indian scientists were able to launch their own satellite aryabhat okay so this is the first satellite uh, that india has launched that you should know this is first satellite okay after four year that is 1979 the second satellite was launched can you tell the name yes it's bhaskar satellite okay it's bhaskar satellite okay and this is the second satellite okay again uh, this is launched with the help of ussr why with the help of ussr because at that time we do not have uh, such capability to launch these satellite into the space okay but after one year you can say in 1980 the third satellite that is rohini satellite rohini satellite okay it is called rs1 rohini satellite 1 which is launch a uh, third satellite but this time this satellite was launched by our country india and it has become i think seventh country to launch its own satellite uh, into the space okay so if you ask uh, which is the first satellite launched by india the answer should be rohini satellite not aryabhatta satellite okay if they ask what is the first ever satellite launched by india then aryabhatta satellite should be the answer okay if it is launched by india then rohini satellite okay understood so this uh, historical point you should also know okay just take a screenshot of that okay coming to the next important pointers is the major areas okay major areas okay so as you have seen a satellite like this so this is okay so these are basically called satellite launch vehicle okay this contain a payload okay this is a payload payload can be anything but in most of the case it is some satellite okay artificial satellite okay so this is launch from certain position and the, if this is our earth okay so it is put in some orbit okay so the first major uh, area is satellite launch vehicle it is also known as slvs okay you must have heard this slv term in news recently as well okay satellite launch vehicle okay so what is that satellite launch vehicle it carries a payload payload is nothing but anything uh, but in that particular case satellite can be a payload so it need to travel out of the atmosphere region and enter into the space so this is a uh, very you can say it is a kind of propulsion that is needed to put that satellite into the orbit okay from indian perspective uh, our isro has made various slvs like pslvs polar satellite launch vehicle second is gslv geo synchronous satellite launch vehicle then third is recently it has gained its uh, thrust in sslv what is sslv small satellite launch vehicle so these are very efficient nowadays okay small satellite launch vehicles okay so one major area of isro is slvs okay the second uh, major area of indio india that is exploration okay so isro do lot of space exploration so 
let me go to the next slide otherwise i will not able to cover okay so the first exploration that uh, isro did is on moon okay so as you know moon exploration uh, with the help of chandrayaan you must have heard this term recently as well chandrayaan so there are three moon mission okay chandrayaan 1 2 3 so you should know the dates dates are very important the first chandrayaan mission was uh, launched on 22nd october 2008 okay so it give boost to the indian space program so afterward the second uh, launch was done on 22nd july 2019 so you can see the difference almost uh, 11 years right but after that recently just one month back on 14 july 2023 isro has launched is chandrayaan 3 okay so this is the first uh, major exploration uh, that isro has done that you should know coming to the second exploration as you know it is mars so it has become one of the main country that did exploration on mars and there is one mission called mangalyaan okay mangal means moon uh, mars okay mayan means that is spacecraft okay so mangalyaan so as you know it was launched on 5th november 2013 okay the next uh, important future mission are human space program okay human space so if uh, our isro put take a uh, human into the space that is also known as gaganyaan okay gaganyaan and uh, these are you can say it, these are future events okay these are future events that uh, will going to happen in another one or two years okay the next is the sun exploration the, this sun exploration is also known as aditya l1 mission okay aditya l1 mission and the last one venus you should know venus so in order to study the venus planet there is one mission called shukrayaan shukrayaan okay these are the future even that can happen in either, uh, another 2 years 23 to 24 okay okay so we have seen two major thrust areas sslv and exploration coming to the next important thrust area is the navigation system okay navigation system so isro had done a lot of uh, research on navigation system as well so because it is able to launch the satellite so it has made basically two system one is called gagan okay gagan gagan system is what it is gps aided gps aided geo augmentation navigation geo augmentation navigation okay then second most important system as you know it is called irnss it is indian regional navigation satellite system okay and it is also known as navic what does this navic stand for navigation with indian constellation indian constellation constellation is group of satellites okay so there are you can say it is seven satellites okay so it is able to give you the position based on our own satellite system okay so this navigation system is another thrust area of isro that you should know okay coming to the next important uh, points are important centers of isro okay and their location okay important centers of isro and their location okay 
द फर्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट सेंटर इज विक्रम साराभाई स्पेस सेंटर एंड यू शुड नो दैट इट इज इन केरला त्रिवेंद्रम ओके केरला ओके देन सेकेंड इम्पॉर्टेंट सेंटर इज मास्टर कंट्रोल फैसिलिटी ओके सो इन ऑर्डर टू ऑपरेट ऑल दिस सेंटर वन मास्टर कंट्रोल फैसिलिटी इज यर एंड फर्स्ट इज इन हसन कर्नाटका ओके एंड सेकेंड वन दे हैव इस्टेब्लिश इन भोपाल ओके भोपाल इज इन मध्य प्रदेश एंड इट इज इन कर्नाटका थर्ड इम्पॉर्टेंट सेंटर इज सैक स्पेस एप्लीकेशन सेंटर इट इज इन अहमदाबाद अहमदाबाद इट इज इन गुजरात ओके देन फोर्थ वन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज एस डी एस सी एस डी एस सी सॉरी एस डी एस सी इट इज सतीश धवन स्पेस सेंटर it is also known as shar okay it is in sri harikota sri harikota it is in uh, basically it is in ap but it is near to tamil nadu okay it is in border okay near tirupati okay so from a uh, launching point of view you must have sri harikota it is a prime location okay so from which launch journey take place okay next important one is iist it is it is indian indian institute of space and science technology okay this question has come in one of the previous year okay and the last important uh, point is T E R L S. Do you know what is the full form of T E R L S? It is Thumba Equatorial Research Launch Station. Okay. Why uh, this Thumba Equatorial Research Center is important? Because it is near to the magnetic line. Okay. Okay. So. i think we have done with all the things so what we studied i will go back once again and quickly revise it in the first slide we have seen the basic about isro okay in the second uh, we seen the important satellite that were launched by isro in the third we seen the major thrust areas okay and some of the important space exploration mission okay then uh, at last we see some important center and their location okay so that's it students so after that uh, if you want us to make video on current affairs uh, we will make it okay and we have also made various video on previous year question paper so you can have a look on those uh, videos as well so If you have anything to say you can write in our comment box we will be very happy to answer that okay thank you for watching and have a nice day